This After Effects tutorial is made possible by ArtBeatsExpress.com. Create a free ArtBeats Express account today and receive free high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Content includes footages, images, After Effects templates, sound effects and more. Click the link in the description below. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at creating this really simple and clean looking custom transition into After Effects using shape layers. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so let's create a new composition and let's just call this maybe transition. 1920 to 1080 30 frames and 10 seconds should be good enough and hit ok then i'm going to double click on the rectangular tool to create a shape layer and make this white then go to rectangle one properties and the rectangle path one and unlink this now i'm going to divide 1920 by five times now i'm going to create five slides so i'm going to divide this with five if you're going to be creating 10 slides you need to divide it by 10 and After Effects is gonna do the math for us. So I'm gonna put in 90-20 divide by 5. Now we have it. Let's just put it on the place by, by aligning this to the left side. Then I'm gonna select the layer and hit S to bring down the scale properties. And I'm gonna go to let's say 15 frames. Unlink this and bring this down to 20 and create a keyframe. Then go to the beginning of the composition and make sure the anchor point is on the top of the layer and bring this down to zero. Then I'm gonna go ahead one frame that is on the 16 frame. You can hit page down key to go one frame forward. Create a keyframe, go to one second and bring this up to 100. So now we have something like this really boring and really lame so let's just pretty quickly easy ease it by hitting f9 on the keyboard go to graph editor then we'll select this and hold control and drag this like so and do the same right over here so now we have a little bit better you know a little bit nice motion to it looks pretty nice then i'm gonna rename this so let's Let's call this 01 and duplicate it by hitting Ctrl D on the keyboard. So now we have three layers. Now I'm going to displace this by three frames each. So to do that, I'm just going to drag this to let's say three frame and the third one to six frame. And change the color of the second one to let's say something like red. You can give it any color that you want and hit OK. So now we should have something like this. I think the strokes are on. So I'm just gonna pretty quickly select the layers and just bring the strokes down to zero. Alright, that is looking pretty nice. Really simple and really easy. Then I'm gonna select all the three layers and right click, pre comp it, and let's just call this slide 01. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the slides, but I'm gonna duplicate it into the project window so i'm gonna duplicate it four times so we have five slides then i'm gonna select all the four slides and just drop this in and now we need to manually position this by holding shift and dragging it to the place that we want so like so make sure it's at full just trying to be precise and just you know use the arrow keys to make it back and forth Let's put this last one right away here. So make sure to use the arrow keys to keep it precise. Control Shift H so that we can hide the layers. So now we should have this really nice kind of animation, which also looks really nice. You can use it like this as well. But I'm, I mean, I like to keep it displaced. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to three frame. And hit Control Close Bracket to crop the 
layers like so to crop the compositions you can say and then i'm gonna go into animation keyframe assistance and sequence layer and hit ok so it's gonna sequence it by three frames each or you can say displace it by three frames each it's basically called the sequencing layers by three frames so you can see it looks really nice and give that a little bit of you know randomness to it it just looks cool you know so let's just pre-comp this compositions as well and let's call this the main slide and hit ok then I'll go to let's say maybe let's say maybe two seconds I guess yep let's keep it at two seconds and hit control close bracket to crop this up hit control D to duplicate it right click go to time and time reverse layer so we have the in and out transition so now we should have something like this really simple and really easy now what I'm gonna do is color this up so you can go and color this uh, as you wish or as you like you know just fill it up with your favorite colors whichever looks good so just make this orange maybe and let's make this light something like green that looks nice and let's color the fifth one as well this kind of a purple maybe green or let's, let's just keep this purple and it okay so now we have some really nice color to this thing looks really really clean and smooth and professional so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that logo to it so to do that I'm gonna create a new composition let's call this main comp and hit ok then I'm gonna drag my transition composition into the main composition the main comp yeah now what I'm gonna do is we need to create a track mat for our logo so I'm gonna duplicate it and let's call this mat and for the logo I'm just gonna you can, it can be a logo or a text so for a text I'm gonna let's type in the design make this next uh, bold maybe a really nice font make this 100 maybe and let's just align this create a stroke around it make it look a bit nicer like so and let's align this into a center as well that looks pretty clean and really nice so let's select this pre comp it and call this logo so now we have our logo set let's drag this below our mat and then I'm going to change the track mat to alpha mat. So now we have something like this. So the logo get revealed with the transition and it looks really, really nice. So yeah, it was simple and a quick tutorial and I hope it was helpful to you guys. And if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like. And I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative. Ah